this is Chester Vivian Baum for J.W. Anderson coming to you live from the House of Whimsy in upstate New York where I'm enjoying quarantine with my state snake plant right here uh, in the living room. So there are questions and I have answers. Question, first question for Miss Viv. What are you most looking forward to once quarantine is lifted? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a shitty cook. Uh, I have learned how to bake bread. I made myself some uh, caponata. Uh, I made myself some delicious French toast this morning. But I cannot wait to get out of this house and go out to eat with some trashy loudmouth queens, have too much to drink, have people prepare and bring the food to me, and, um, just make an overall general loud, obnoxious spectacle out of myself with some really fun people. That's all I want in life. Um, I would say, if buddy, anybody asked me for advice on what should be the first thing they do before they leave the house, do something before you go to work. Don't spend all this time in quarantine and then get ready and go to work. Go see some people you love and do something fun. That's my advice. Okay. Question for Sandy Stone. What is your favorite occasion to get dressed up for? It's me, Sandy Stone. And, uh, well, of course, if I am getting dressed, I always dress to undress, if you understand what I'm saying. If I'm getting dressed for an occasion that I think I might end up getting undressed for, that is the most fun. I love dressing to undress. <laughs> Okay, question for Auntie Glam. If you could only drink one cocktail for the rest of your life, which would you choose? Darling, that's the easiest question of all. The one cocktail I would drink for the rest of my life is the I'll have another, because my favorite cocktail is always the one that's coming next. Ah, oh, angels. Okay. Next question. How did you meet Jonathan Anderson? Well, you know, I don't specifically remember how I met Jonathan Anderson, but I do know that uh, when I met him, he was um, dating a friend of mine, but I don't remember the introduction so much as I remember those beautiful, sparkling eyes shining brightly from that cute little face. And so, uh, how did I meet Jonathan Anderson? By looking into those beautiful eyes, my darlings. Oh, that was a little anti-glam right there. Look, this is what happens, you see. I don't have um, cufflinks, or I can't find them. And I was using clip-on earrings to, to do this, but somewhere between my dressing laboratory, and uh, here, I lost one of my clip-on earrings. So, uh, well, that's why I look a little conflabulated. Okay, with all this quarantining, there has been an upsurge in video face-to-face -face timing. I guess you would call that FaceTime, darling. Um, what's the best excuse to end a call without offending? Well, I just usually uh, pretend that, um, that you know, uh, just hang up. Just pretend like you the internet didn't work. There was some sort of mistake. Get yourself one of those clickers that you can remotely go, just cut yourself off, darling. But, you know, I, I've never had to end a call without offending. Don't talk to people you don't like, for Christ's sake. What's wrong with you? Bye. Uh, more questions. Darling, okay, what is, who is your spirit diva? Who do you look to to reawaken the goddess within? Well, this is my first pandemic, darlings. I uh, am an older woman now and I lived through the whole AIDS thing in San Francisco and some of the most fabulous, amazing people I've ever met in my life were with these brilliant queens in, in San Francisco, many of whom died. One uh, was my dear, dear friend and sister, Miss Kitty Littergreen. We called ourselves Two-Spirit uh, Soul Sisters. And uh, she was a non-binary person, and she and Doris Fish and Diet Popstitute, all these amazing people, 
whenever I am nervous or I'm about to go on stage for a big opening like Broadway or Carnegie Hall or, you know, Tranny Shack in San Francisco, something I'm nervous about, uh, I always summon the spirits of these sisters to um, come on stage with me and I always know that I'll be okay because they're there with me and so it's, uh, it's my uh, spirit sisters that see me through. So they are definitely the people who are my spirit divas. What is your least favorite nightcap? A pill that doesn't work? When are you coming to party with J.W. Anderson? Well, darling, as soon as the flights take off, I'll be happy to be on the first one. Just extend the invitation, my angels, and I shall come. I can't wait to get out of here. Next question. What is your favorite shade of tan? My favorite shade of tan is Chambeige, my darlings. It's a combination between champagne and beige, sort of the color of my skin and my hair, my car, Vantasia. She's a Chambeige, look at that, isn't that nice? Darlings, when am I gonna get to the hairdresser? Uh, soon, soon. Uh, my car, Vantasia, is a Chambeige minivan. She's sort of like my Wonder Woman plane because when I'm in her, I'm the same color as she is, and so when I drive by, I'm invisible. Who was driving that car? It was me, my darlings, but you can't see me inside of Vantasia. What is your favorite lockdown activity? <sighs> There's just so many wonderful things to do when you're trapped at home for a month or two on end. I would say, today I'm a little anxious to be perfectly honest, so um, my next favorite activity will be getting on the um, face to face time with my doctor and begging her for Valium or something for my agitated nerves, my darlings. But if she doesn't give me any medication, I would say that my favorite activity is when uh, I have my Ba my band, my housemate David plays piano, and my uh, darling friend Nathan Carrera plays guitar, and uh, we've uh, melded our households because we've both done the whole like n social distancing for weeks now, so Nathan can come here and we can go there, and uh, on Thursdays at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, we do our show Anti Glam's Happy Hour in which we perform music and live scream on YouTube at my um, YouTube site, Justin Vivian, and at my website, justinvivianbond.com. So my favorite lockdown activity is putting on performances for you darling people out there in the interwebs in your isolation chambers. So I think those were all the questions. Oh, when did you start singing? I started singing when I was very young. I only remember uh, singing for the first time in a car. Uh, and I'm not sure, I remember singing Puff the Magic Dragon in a car when we were going on vacation in, to Ocean City, Maryland. And I also remember singing This Land is Your Land in a car when we were going on vacation in New York, but I can't remember which came first. This land is your land, or Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, but that's when I started singing, when I was about two or three years old. And I've never stopped, never learned a lyric yet. But anyway, that is all the questions. And uh, I thank you so much for um, tuning in. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that we will all be together very soon. And um, thank you. Thank J.W. Anderson and all my wonderful friends who are out there fighting the good fight, doing what needs to be done. Stay in, drink gin, love one another. Bye. Ooh.